Finding a translator to localize your game is already a pain. But checking his work is sometimes close to impossible because you simply do not know the target language. However, you can use a very simple and to a certain degree reliable method. You can download a free Xbench translation quality assurance software and use the automated checks built in in Xbench. Please remember that this will only check errors such as wrong numbers, double spaces, untranslated strings and other technical issues. However, if there are many of such mistakes, you can draw a conclusion that if the translator does not pay attention to details, he or she might also not pay attention to style, terminology and overall quality of the translation. Xbench is a very powerful yet free and simple to use software. The errors it finds are often real errors that you can create a report of and ask the translator to correct them. Bear in mind that Xbench is greedy. That means it often finds more errors than there really are and some of them are the so-called false positives. How to use Xbench? You can use the test file I provide at frindillion.com. When you receive a translated file, create a two-column tab delimited file of it, open Xbench, create a new project, and simply drag and drop the file. It should automatically be recognized as tab delimited text file. Now make sure you uncheck all the boxes apart from ongoing translation, as this option will tell Xbench to look for errors in the quality assurance mode. OK the two dialogues and click the QA tab in Xbench. You can see the check groups, the lists of errors that Xbench is able to find. In the basic groups, the check all the boxes. The names of the tests are quite self-explanatory. In the content group, you do not need to check tag mismatch and key term mismatch, as these tests will not be performed correctly in the file that we added. I will record some other videos about Xbench where I will show you how to use key terms and personal checklists. Now click check ongoing translation button and see the results. Xbench detected all sorts of errors here, but see carefully that some of them are not real errors. For example, you do not need to have the string text and notes translated. First, numeric mismatch is also hardly an error as the translator substituted word 3 for the number 3. The similar situation happens in the third numeric mismatch where the translator was very precise and input a number before every resource and in the source there was just one number 50 and Xbench finds this as numeric mismatch. Yet all other issues are real issues and having browsed them you can assess if you find this number of only technical errors troubling or not. You will notice that translator did not check numbers, used two different translations for the same string and two different strings translated in the same way. Also, the translator left some strings completely untranslated and even left some double spaces. This is sloppy. What you can do now is to export the error list to the XLS file, deliver the file to the translator and ask for corrections or clarifications, as not all of these issues will be real errors. As you see, the export is quite clear to read. By no means this is a perfect method to check quality of translations, but it's free, quick and can be used with most of the languages, especially the ones that you do not speak. In the video I presented only the built-in checks in Xbench. They are useful, however the software can do a lot more. In the next videos I will show you how to prepare your own list of checks, how to use regular expressions and check your custom terminology.